Good morning. It is 8.14 a.m. on Tuesday, July 6th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I am, I just got up here in Boston. This is five more minutes. I did it. I made it back home. Um, it worked out. <laughs> I mean, not that I expected otherwise. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, uh, had a fairly uneventful plane flight. Um, although what I will briefly say is that, you know, you know, if you want to ask me my, my, uh, favorite of the airlines, I will definitely say JetBlue is my preference every single time I flew, uh, United, uh, this time. And you know what? A lot less leg room snacks, not as good. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, United, that if you want to sell more of those snack boxes, you know, in order to make money and have satisfied customers, perhaps you should not require them to know in advance that they have to have the United app on their phone and the credit card stored in the app in order to, uh, in order to buy it and that there's no other way to do it. That's dumb. <laughs> Um, and, uh, the flight attendant was very sure that I should have gotten an email explaining all of that. And it, as far as I could tell, I didn't and wouldn't have wanted to, even if I had seen that email, but if I had seen that email, which I didn't, um, I would have just decided to buy my own food to bring on board instead of waiting for theirs. Anyway, it's worked out fine. I got home. Um, I picked up my little dog from the kennel and brought him home and he's doing great. He seems just fine. We just picked up back to our routine without missing a beat. He's a good boy and uh, everything seems fine there and uh, seems like he did just, just swell. Um, and, but definitely glad to be home. So, you know, last night, uh, Mike and I recorded a new episode of watching 100 movies. We talked about some war movies. In, in particular, we chose a trio of The Great Escape, Starship Troopers, and The Hurt Locker. And I think it really made for a good discussion because we, we end up with um, quite a variety of different sort of takes on war on film. And uh, it worked out pretty well, so that should be on YouTube now if you want to check that out. Uh, but now it's just kind of like, okay, let's uh, start moving forward and, you know, getting back to the home thing. And, uh, yeah, so it's kind of where I'm at today. Although I'm also right now <laughs> dealing with uh, lower back stiffness. Um, even yesterday, uh, I, I it was feeling a little bit stiff. And then I feel like it kind of tweaked it a little bit trying to lift my heavy suitcase and so it was kind of stiff and sore and then I actually did more or less okay during the travel yesterday but then I paid for it <laughs> uh, or am paying for it now just kind of woke up last night and uh, this morning and it's just extra stiff now I actually suspect that part of what's going on there is that I ran out of my vitamin D supplements weeks ago and then just didn't make it a priority to buy more because I kept thinking, oh, I'll just do that next time I go to the store and I kept forgetting. So I've actually not been taking them for a couple of weeks. And I was just thinking to myself, when was the last time that my back hurt quite like this? And then I realized it was just before I realized that taking vitamin D supplements helps my back not hurt so much. So there you have it. Um, uh, or, you know, it's not a guarantee thing. I mean, obviously there's a lot involved. You know, I've got some extra weight around the middle that probably doesn't help my back feel great. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, I had previously established a pattern and that's part of why, you know, cause vitamin D supplements can contribute to like, you know, muscle, uh, soreness and that sort of thing. Uh, and I, I know that I just am vitamin D dependent, so I should be taking those anyway. So it's just kind of whether it will help my back feel better or not. Um, I just need to get back on to doing that. Yeah. 
Um, a lot of people are vitamin D deficient. That's just, that's a common one given that people don't spend all day out in the sun anymore. Yep. Anyway, um, getting back to it, uh, should we have a new episode of So Many Levels tonight, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.